Ah! Oh! Hey, it's you guys. Man, YouTube really needs to let me know when you guys are going to be logging in and joining me here in the car. It scares the crap out of me when you just appear out of thin air. Anyway, I'm glad that you chose to uh, join me today because we... Oh, that's a sweet car. We are going to be doing a little bit of a uh, dumpster diving today. I got a hot tip from a friend that there's a company that is expanding and they are throwing out all of their old tech. That's right, all sorts of office gear sitting in a dumpster just waiting for someone to come along and take it. So that's where we're gonna head right now. I can't really reveal the location. It's kind of a secret. I don't want to get the guy that tipped me off in trouble. Not to mention that most dumpster diving in California is illegal. Anyway, that's where we are heading right now. office park right now so we're just about to roll up to the dumpsters keep those seat belts fastened all right and now the moment of truth uh there's some good bubble wrap oh computer Looks like it's got a motherboard and a power supply at least. I had to put the camera down because I couldn't hoist that case and all this bubble wrap out while vlogging. But as you can see here, I've got a lifetime supply of high quality bubble wrap. There's that computer tower. Now let's go check out some of the other dumpsters on this property. Oh, computer. Oh, it's got a GeForce GTX. Photoshop, this is a nice computer. Oh, there's three computers in here. Oh, man. Whoa. There's a ladder. Oh, there's a whole bunch down there. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. I think those are industrial lab scales. And here is the total haul from those smaller dumpsters. I got those three awesome PC towers. It looks like they got some high-end graphics cards. Everything's high-end in there. i7s, four sticks of RAM. I'm not even sure what this stuff is, but it's brand new. This looks promising, this Netgear Pro Safe. Some random old credit card swiping machine. I got an HP LaserJet printer, another keyboard and mouse, a random camping lantern. Check this out, this is awesome. One, two, three, four, three terabyte hard drives. Some duster spray, an external DVD writer. Oh, and look at this, this is a little portable external hard drive. Western Digital, My Passport. Outlook 2010. Uh, where, let's see, where is that thing? Ah, where did it go? Okay, here it is. Check this out. This is epic. A Samsung 
solid state hard drive. I am going to enjoy that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I found this, a DVD recorder. The box hasn't even been opened yet. And a ViewSonic LCD widescreen monitor. Not bad, eh? So I decided to return and um, see what else has been added to the giant dumpster of goodness and giving. Yes. Check out all these cables. Yes. Oh my gosh, who would throw this away? These are brand new. Cables for days. Non-stop cable goodness. HDMI, DVI, DisplayPort, USB, audio. So many cables! I think these are gonna go on eBay because there's no way I could ever use this many cables in my entire life. Look at this! All these cables. Oh my gosh. There has to be about a hundred cables here, and they're all brand new. All your cables are now belong to us. All right, returning home, it's time to take a closer look inside each of these computers. And it looks like we've got nice motherboard, decent graphics card. That looks like four sticks of RAM. I'll have to check out the size if I can get it to boot. Really good power supply. Mm. Oh, there's the oh, solid state hard drive. Okay, computer number two. Again, with a nice motherboard and a decent graphics card. Not bad. Computer number three also had a nice graphics card. Along with the i7 processor, four sticks of RAM, and a sweet motherboard. This tower, the case is a little messed up, but uh, check this out. A GTX 970. I really hope this boots up and works. That is sweet. Precious. I was able to assemble a working computer. I booted it up, and it looks like we've got Windows 7 here. The password was pretty weak. I was able to guess it. So I logged in, and um, I'm going to attempt upgrading it to Windows 10. And it works. I now have Windows 10. Here's the specs on that graphics card. Not bad. It looks like it has three gigs of DDR5 memory. Oh, this is gonna edit video in a flash. 4K resolution, 60 Hertz frame rate, and I was able to salvage two SSDs. So I now have about a terabyte of solid state storage. I christened the Dumpster One. Seems like an appropriate name, right? And check out these specs. i7, 3.5 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, Dumpster One, you and I are going to be good friends. Not bad for a bunch of free garbage, eh? Wow. This has to be one of the best dumpster dives that I've ever done. Can you believe some of the stuff that was in those dumpsters? It just blows my mind that someone would take all of that amazing tech and just throw it away. If it wasn't for me rescuing it, that stuff would be in a landfill right now. And it does kind of make me wonder how much stuff 
goes into dumpsters and trash cans, quality stuff that ends up in landfills on a daily basis. What percentage of this world's landfills is made up of items that can be reused, recycled? Ugh, it makes me want to do a big face palm to the world. But I can't complain too much. I got a great computer out of this deal. And a lot of other items that you saw earlier in the video that were in my trunk, which I'm going to put on Amazon and eBay. I'm going to sell those items and break in a little bit of cash to keep the Vlognosis Mobile rolling so I can go on more dumpster dives in the future. So what did you think of today's dumpster diving episode? Would you ever consider doing something like this? Perhaps you are a dumpster diver too. What's your greatest dumpster dive haul? I really want to hear from you guys. Please leave a comment in the section below. Well, that about wraps things up for today's video. I'm going to get back on my computer, my free computer that I got out of a dumpster, and edit some more videos for all of you to enjoy in the near future. Take care, everyone.